Um, before we move off, can I draw your attention to the um, the caravan over there? Ooh. It's a pirouette classic, sir. A swift pirouette? It's called a swift pirouette classic. <laughs> so who wants to swiftly pirouette in a caravan? It's a totally unwanted Hello. Uh, manoeuvre. I'm Darcy Bustle, and if I'm in a hurry, I love a swift pirouette. A swift pirouette classic. I'm sneaking over. Is that an Octavia Scout? It's an Octavia Which Scout. Which is a good tow hound. Oh, Very good. Look at this. This is the good thing about electric cars. You can sneak up and do sneaking. intel. Sneaking. Swift pirouette classic. Hey, have you ever played the anal caravan game? I am aware of the anal caravan <laughs> game. Remind me though, because I forget the exact rules. Any motorhome, any caravan, you have to put the word anal in front of its name. So oh, it's that... in front of its name? Yeah, so that would be an anal pirouette. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, I, and when someone said this to me, I went, really? And I went, did you ever own a caravan? I went, I have actually, I had an Abbey Marauder. Okay, Anal Marauder. <laughs> oh my God. And then you just start reeling off caravan and motorhome names. Yeah. Can you think of a decent motorhome um, caravan? Well, I, I, I was going to say Traveller. Anal Traveller? Yeah, Anal Traveller, but that sounds like a website. <laughs> yes. Sounds like a website for an incredibly pedantic person who goes, well, I like this five-star hotel, but <laughs> unfortunately I found inadequate supplies of shampoo in the bathroom. <laughs> the Anal Traveller. They could be a per that could be a thing. The anal traveller. Yeah. I, it's, it is open to misinterpretation. Oh, it's though, it's it? it's gonna get just a little bit. It's gonna get. Wendon's Ambo. Is that is this the name of a real place? Yeah, but it also sounds like um, a South African. It sounds like um, somebody that might uh, set up a rival company to reggae reggae swords. <laughs> Is it, Maybe. It's Wenton Ambo. Wenton Ambo sauce, yeah. And I thought it sounded like one of those uh, those very rich South Africans that you don't really want to know what their family got up to in the 80s. Because <laughs> you know you're not going to like the, the answer. Wenton. Here it is, me Wenton Ambo now. <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm going to go to Wenton Ambo. Um, there's a previous gen Range Rover there. Yes, an L322, sir. No, that, that one. I can never remember the L. Here we are, we're going into Wendon Zambo. Oh, it's Wendon. Yes, yes, my family had a mine, but it's we were very, really, very really good to our workers. <laughs> I mean, only about three or four of them died every week, it was fine. So Wendon Zambo is, is white there. South African? White South African, very rich. Yes. And there's, you just to go, oh God, what did they get up to 30 years ago? <laughs> Really? And he's actually Wyndon Zembo the third because his dad, his, his dad was Wyndon Zembo. Oh, of and course. He, uh, yeah. he, you know, he was the guy who mined a lot of the diamonds. What, what did he drive? What did Wyndon Zembo drive? Something really racist. In fact, is this man walking towards us, Wyndon Zembo? He is Wyndon Zembo. Look at him there. <laughs> Look at him in his linen. That a, that's his Martin lovely, Bell. Lovely, lovely. Well, I don't know. That was a bit bloody. You put a pith helmet on, and that is that's, full Wyndon Zembo there. That is that is Wyndon Zembo. Is, well, uh, now, look, I haven't shot a rhino for years, so <laughs> stop making a fuss about it, okay? <laughs> Wendon's Ambo. That's why he lives in this little village in wherever we are now. Is this Cambridgeshire? I feel like we're near Stansted oh, Airport. Are we on the Hearts Cam's border? It all gets a bit murky up here, doesn't it? It, it does. And, and that's why Wendon Zambo lives here. He's <laughs> hiding, basically. He is hiding. He's hiding. And it's an odd part of the world, this, because you don't come here and particularly. No one comes here by accident except us, as it turns out. He he keeps himself grounded because he funds a lot of local school projects. Yes, um, using that dirty, dirty apartheid money. That he <laughs> so how did you make a fortune? I admit, uh, business interests. Oh, He's become man. a Kiwi as well suddenly. For some oh, it, it, business interests. But business interests. Business interests. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's his best mate, isn't it? <laughs> That's his business part that he doesn't really. Well, Buzz not on trust. Buzz not on trust. <laughs> yeah. He's, Hello. He's a Kiwi, but yeah. he, he was in he was in Zimbabwe for some years. Yeah, that's it. I mean, you think Kiwis? Like, Kiwis are lovely people. I've never met a nasty Kiwi, but this guy he was, he was in Zimbabwe. He's done some bad shit. He has, hasn't Buzz he? Buzz not on trust. Buzz not on trust. It's a caravan. Oh, that's a Conway Cardinal. Play the anal game. Anal Cardinal. <laughs> Whereas Anal Conway is another man who hangs out with Buster <laughs> Sunstress and Wendon Zarbo. Oh, he and does all the dirty work. Yeah, he's the accountant. He's sort of moved and hidden the money. Well, Anal Conway. Uh, Anal Conway. <laughs> oh, it's, he's always telling you, 
<laughs> and I don't know, say he's always thing. telling you that it's, I know, it's, I know, it's, it's pronounced it's, anal. I know. Like everyone goes, it's not. It says <laughs> anal on your business card. <laughs> you strange man. It's a anal Conway. Anal Business Conway. Interest. <laughs> and and <Wendon> when <laughs> uh, Honestly, and they're like, they're quite good fun people. You're at the village fake back there in that village, and they're and they're always there with their ruddy faces and their oh. pimps on the go, and they've all got those kind of hats that yeah. rich middle-aged or um, rich elderly men have in the summer. They do. And their linen suits. They're, there's a lot of light-coloured clothing. There is. And very very loose jackets. They own. Absolutely no pairs of jeans, any of them. No, it's all chinos, and they sort of look what's like a shit tra- Ralph Lauren shoe. Yeah, what's the what's the cheap? What's the alternative trouser cut name to a chino that isn't a jean? What That's else? A good what, point. What, what sort of other trouser you? derivatives are there? You're into a sort of trouser no man's land, right? <laughs> you, are. you get to a certain age and you go, it is not dignified for a man of my age and wealth and murky business past in South Africa to be wearing jeans. Yeah. Where do you go? Where it's, do it, you, you go? You just you have to book a ticket to Chino Town and hope that on the Chino way town you spot something. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go and eat in Cheetown? Che- and the thing about Cheetown, restaurants in Cheetown, they always have excellent and very large napkins because they're well aware of how light coloured many people's trousers are. Absolutely. I need a wee. I can't lie, I need <laughs> a wee. It's post coffee. It's post coffee. I need a wee. I should have stopped there. You know what it's like? I always panic and don't stop when I should. No, I do that. And now I need to have a wee because what I'm going to do is. Oh, let's Can you find a good vista? House. Find a good vista. That would have been perfect. It would, but there's a farmhouse there. Oh, is there? Yeah, well, back there there was. Oh, yeah, no, you don't I can see that. from their top room. So because when Wendon Zambo and. Wendon what are his two cohorts? Um, Business and Trust. <laughs> and Anal Conway. <laughs> That's pronounced anal. Anal, <laughs> no, Conway. You know, nobody gave me this shit back in South Africa. It's-